He started off with a 50 freestyle before giving any stroke technique at all, just to see his natural freestyle. Pretty good freestyle to start off with. One thing I did notice is whenever he's taking his breath, I tend to drop that hand down right there. You can see that. You really want to try to surf that front hand, and whenever you take a breath and drop that hand, it creates a lot of frontal drag. After watching that 50 freestyle, we moved on to a drill where we kick on our side with a kickboard. This teaches us how to surf our hand and try to keep our ear on our arm. When doing this drill, you want to really try to keep your feet at the surface as well. We then dropped the kickboard and went on to doing this drill with just our hand out front. You can see right here the hand is near the surface, the hips are up at the surface. This looks great right here. I try to keep the ear on the arm just a little bit more. There. You can see there's a separation between the ear and the arm and the hips are a little low right there. You can see I took a freeze frame of the video. We want to try to get the feet a little more towards the surface. Up next, we progressed onto a six kicks per arm cycle. So it's six kicks and then switch sides. Similar to what we just did, but now we're adding in a little bit of swimming. This looks really good right here. I like that hand whenever you finish to be a little more straight at the end of it. That looks good right there. When doing this drill, we want to make sure we're really getting on our side perfect. That's a great drill right there. Took a freeze frame of it, feet are near the surface, hips are near the surface, hand is up. And as we do this drill more and more, you're going to continue to develop more shoulder flexibility. It's just a matter of practicing. We then moved on to hand paddles. And these hand paddles help us feel the water out a little bit more. We talked about a high elbow catch, meaning whenever you're pulling the water, you want your elbow to be higher than the hand. Once again, hand out front here in the arm, already a big improvement. And with that buoy, you want to rotate just a little bit more. Those hips got a little flat right there. Other than that, looking pretty darn good. Took a freeze frame right here to see that there's a little bit of separation on that ear and that arm. Continue to work on that. And you'll notice that happens as you get a little more tired. So when we get tired, make sure you're really keeping that ear on the arm. Some more paddle and buoy pull right here. We talked about when we're pulling, keeping that hand nice and flat. You can see those bubbles coming under our body, giving us lift. That looks really good. Nice high elbow catch right there. You can see the elbow is higher than the hand, and you can see the swirls coming under our body. I did a little demonstration with a kickboard, and I think that helped right there. Going back onto some more paddle and buoy, got the ear on the arm that time, that looks good. Finishing the stroke, getting on the side. Continue to, when we finish that stroke, make sure it's a hand acceleration and really twist that hip on the side. After the paddle and buoy, we went back to regular swim just to see what it feels like without any gear. And you can notice already we're getting better hip rotation. Starting to surf that hand out front. Still some hand drop right there. It is better from where we first started off. And that's one of those things you're just gonna have to practice day in and day out, making sure we're really surfing that lead hand. Same thing on the way back, good push off the wall. Nice strong kick, good core rotation right there. Hands better than it was, but still once again, a little bit of drop. Just make sure we're continuing to work on that. I like the six kicks per arm cycle drill. Like I said, it's gonna be one of these things you're just gonna have to practice every day. Next clip is us with the resistance band on and I like to use a resistance band to help us feel that water and engage that catch a little bit more. As you swim down the pool that resistance band gets harder and harder. Tracking shot right here. Naturally that band is going to pull your hips a little bit down. The technique's going to fall apart just a little bit with that resistance. But this is help us feel that water, work a little bit of power, get the camera up and out of the water so we can get a view from the front view. Right here, you see the water coming under our body. Slow the camera down so we can see that pull phase right there. Hands dropping a little bit. I like to see a little higher elbow catch at the very end of that. Last, finishing up with the 50 freestyle, no gear at all. Great session, learned a lot. You can see us really rotate. Perfect. One thing, dropping that hand down with the rotation and the overall feel for it. And you can see we're exhaling with our face in the water, the bubbles coming out of the nose. 
that's one of the biggest improvements I saw throughout the day was you really exhaling with that face in the water so we don't get so winded and so worked up. And that's one of those things you can continue to work on. From here until our next session, I really like to see you surfing that front hand, continue exhaling with your face in the water so we don't get all worked up. Overall, great session. I look forward to working with you again in the future.